Hi, Hiram here. A bunch of people have been asking me to do a test using an ember light stove. It's a wood burning stove kit that you put together. And the nice people over at Mercenary Arts sent me one to play with. Now you'll have to forgive me. There's a bit of a learning curve on putting this together. You have three side pieces. They're made out of steel, about 20 thousandths of an inch thick. That makes it about uh, 25 gauge. You got three pieces, uh, two sides and a back. So all you do is, I don't have the learning curve here yet. Put them in like this. Just slide the slots together. Uh, just like that. There's a floor piece with three tabs on it. That just slides in here. Just like that. Then the hard part for me anyway is putting on the front piece. It goes in with the ember light. I don't know, can you see it here? Yeah, the ember light emblem goes out. So you stick wait a minute. I put this together backwards. Anyway, doesn't matter for what I'm doing today. Put the one side in like that and then just flex it till you can get the other side in. A little bit easier said than done. Again, this is me, not the stove. I never had much fun with my erector set either. There we go. And there you have a stove. As it sets here like this with the two cross pieces that go into the top, I won't be needing them today. This weighs 334.9 grams or 11.81 ounces. If you throw in the uh, plastic pouch that it comes in, everything just slides in there all nice and neat. With the pouch it's 366.5 grams or 12.93 ounces. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know that every time I get a new stove, one of the first things I want to do with it is play with it with a Trangia stove and see how it compares to other ones. In this case, the bottom of this is too low for this burner. It would set about like that. So there's too much distance from here to here. So what I'm going to do is there are vent holes on the side. I'm going to stick my two rods that I used on other stoves in here and form a little bit of an elevated base. That way when I put the Trangia in here it sets up higher about like that now. So it's not quite so far to the bottom of the pot. Let me just put this in here, cross the two rods like so. Now normally this is a wood stove you would stick pieces of wood, maybe a little bit thicker than a pencil, in through this side and it just burns it down. But I always like to test these stoves with alternate fuels, one of them being the Trangia. I mean you get to a, a campsite in the rain or whatever, you don't feel like running around looking for wood and everything. I always carry one of the Trangia burners with me along with a supply of alcohol. Okay, let's let that start. So anyway, I, I always love to, I test these stoves with a Trangia in it. Because like I was saying, you get to a site, it's been raining, it's snowing, whatever. I like to just slap the Trangia in there. And heat up whatever water I need for cocoa or for my meal. 
after I've done this, I will be doing more tests using wood and stuff in here. Probably wood more so than wood pellets. Okay, the burner's going. I have two cups of water here, and my Boy Scout pot does fit across this. Setting two cups, it was setting at 60, it's already up to 62, but let's say 60. Room temperature is 52 degrees, and humidity is, what, 46%. That doesn't really much matter today. But let's see where this goes. There we have 210. I'm up to 11, to 12, and 638. Okay, not bad. This was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil of 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 6 minutes and 38 seconds. On the when I did this on the firebox stove, the folding firebox, that took seven minutes and four seconds. This is somewhat more of an enclosed stove, so I don't know if you can see. The flames are coming out the top and through these top jet ports, so uh, the enclosure plus sucking the air in and up really made it go fast. But anyway, on the folding firebox, it took seven minutes, seven minutes, four seconds. On the ultralight stove, it took 6 minutes and 21 seconds to get two cups of water to boil from 59 degrees. And using the west wind, two cups at 60 degrees came to a full boil in 6 minutes and 25. So comparatively, that's not bad. Not bad at all. You don't have to write those temperatures and times down. I'll put them down in the text area. So, that's my first boil test using the... Yelch. The ember lit stove. Now all I got to do is figure out how to drop the cat down in there to put this out. There we go. Oops. There we go. Except now it's coming up through the hole. The hole. The pivot hole on the cat. That's funny. All right. I'll have to figure out something to do with that. So. I thank the people over at Mercenary Arts for sending me an Emberlite stove of theirs. This is just the first test using the Trangia. Remember I just stuck in a couple of wires to elevate the Trangia off the bottom because I thought that was too low. With the way this flame's coming out the top, maybe that's not a problem. I could try that again sometime. There we go. Now it's out. My next test on this will be doing it with wood pieces. I'll have to take it outside when the weather gets a little better. Getting kind of windy out there now. Hopefully we'll be getting some snow so I can start doing snow tests. But anyway, I'm rambling here. Rambling. This is the Emberlite stove. Uh, requested by a bunch of people. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin.